Welcome to AT Genius, the Athletic Trainer's EMR. This video is to help you get started in using our system. Brothers Casey and Brandon Christie have teamed up to bring you a system that is simple, smart, and secure that meets all of your documentation needs and can be used on any device. Once you sign up for AT Genius, the first thing you want to do is go into your account options and stuff with your name, your email address, your institution name, your license number, your BOC information, your credentials, and create a password. Your credentials will appear after your name on all reports. From there, once you select on account options, again, you can see all the areas that you can customize AT Genius. For example, our system comes with a default list of sports. You can add a sport or delete any sports that come with the system that you do not have at your institution. There are various areas such as the treatment sign-in list. If you're using AT Genius for patients to sign in, you can customize that list as well to add a new treatment such as cupping. You would pick the appropriate category such as treatment and rehabilitation, add in cupping, a treatment value if you would like, and then hit add. And this will now appear in your list of treatments. If you want all your athletes in the system ahead of time before they come in as patients, you can go to your account and athlete import. You can import your athlete demographics from a CSV file or you can send it to us to import it for you. Now if you have multiple staff members, you want to go into your account then team members. By team members we mean staff members and athletic training students. Add their information here. If it's an athletic training student, be sure to click this box to limit their privileges. And you may want some staff to have only read-only access and you can indicate that here. Now as I mentioned earlier, once you click on account options, you'll see all these areas on the left in which you can customize AT Genius. So I'm going to go through these quickly down this list. So you can add your school logo to appear on your reports, athlete import and team members we already covered. You can send patient messages in one of two ways, a text message to the patient's cell phone from within the system about home treatment reminders, for example. The patient cannot respond to these messages. You also can leave a message upon treatment sign-in as a reminder of what to do that day once they come in for treatment. Your field locations, your sports and sports level are all customizable. Concussion activities are the activities in which you are using for your return to play protocol. Injury types are generic types of injury uh, labels. For example, if you arrive at a conclusion, a diagnosis of a grade one lateral ankle sprain, after the assessment is typed in, you would select an injury type. In this case, it would be a sprain. And this helps categorize that injury for reports that will be run later. When you loan out crutches or other equipment, you can keep track of that through our equipment loan manager. And here is where you can customize your list of equipment that you loan out. AT Genius also keeps track of all email reports sent from within the system. You can create a rehab card template for common injuries so you don't have to start from scratch with each patient. Rehab cards are created from within the patient's injury file. And the athlete can log in and follow along on their phone or other device. Use your account to create a simple treatment sign-in code that athletes can remember, such as your mascot, to use to sign in for treatment. You can also change the seven-day default setting of when you want to be reminded about idle records, unsigned SOAP evaluations, and unreturned equipment. Remember, all of these items can be customized in your account through the side pop-out menu. To add an injury to a patient's file, first go into the patient, then select Add Injury. You'll then select 
the body area that pertains to this injury, you'll note also that we have emergency care as one of the selections. From there you'll see three choices, the guided soap, the open soap, and the short note. The guided soap provides a very detailed evaluation process with check boxes for various areas of the evaluation including range of motion, strength testing, and special tests. You also have the option of entering an open soap for an injury record. The subjective area of the soap note is the same as the guided soap. However, the objective section is just an area to type a narrative. There are no check boxes for special tests or range of motion. The assessment area is the same as the guided soap. Be sure to select an injury type to be used later for reports. This helps categorize this injury for these reports. The plan section of the open soap is briefer. Again, a space to type a narrative. There are check boxes, however, for the patient's participation status. And finally, you have the short note option. The short note is designed for a very minor injury, such as a contusion, in which you don't want to get involved in writing up a full soap, but you want to document the injury. So it provides an area to type a narrative and includes some check boxes such as participation status, communication, and other essentials. You'll notice a green sign and lock tab in the plan section of the soap note. Once you have finalized your injury record, click this to sign the record and make it permanent. Once this occurs, the more tab will become available where you can select from the side pop-out menu numerous options including adding a progress or discharge note, printing or sending a report, or adding a doctor's note through the add media area. You can also develop a rehab card for the patient through this side pop-out menu. And to email a progress note or other attachment, click the small mail icon in the lower right corner. When viewing multiple records in a patient's file, AT Genius labels the injuries as discharged or not discharged with a red or green indicator. Also, records with a X and an unlocked icon indicate that the record can still be modified. The locked icon indicates the soap note has been signed and locked. AT Genius reminds you when records sit idle for seven days or longer and need attention. Records that have not been signed for seven days also will prompt an alert. And equipment that has not been returned that is tracked through our equipment loan manager will also indicate an alert after seven days. The default of seven days can be changed in your account. Concussion evaluation is used the same format with tab selection. Use the More tab once the evaluation is signed and locked to perform serial symptom checklists. A green check indicates the patient did not report the symptom. A red check if the patient did report the symptom. You can also document your return to play protocol through the More tab. For fast entry on the sideline, Remember, you can skip all fields except date of injury. This is required. However, we recommend you go back later when you have time to enter all fields so that your reports will be more complete. Remember to periodically approve your treatment sign-in list. You can also edit an individual treatment by clicking on the treatment and checking off any missed items. If the athlete completed a rehab card, you can view that by checking on the red tab. Also, if the patient comes in and you do not have time to document the injury at the time, have the patient check evaluation upon sign-in and this Add Eval tab will appear to remind you. In your account, add common treatments to the quick list so they appear at the top of the list when athletes sign in. If a patient forgets to sign in, you can click Add Treatment from within their injury record and add the treatment yourself. And remember, clicking on the AT Genius logo takes you back to the home screen no matter where you are in the system. You'll periodically receive quick tips upon login.
to better utilize our system. For more help, numerous detailed video tutorials are available at the bottom of your screen once you log in. A user's manual is also available at the bottom of your screen. If you have any further questions, click on our support link. Thank you for using ATGenius.com.